and welcome back to our channel. Did you know that Lübeck has one of the highest quality marzipan in the world? If you would like to know a little more about the German marzipan and the products that are available, please watch this video. Lübecker Marzipan comes obviously from Lübeck and has been protected by EU Council Directive as protected geographical indication since 1996. Lübecker Marzipan has incredible quality because it contains 70% of raw marzipan paste and only 30% of sugar. Some companies also produce Lübecker Edel Marzipan and that contains only 10% of sugar and also marzipan that is made without sugar. In the stores of Lübeck you can find two sorts of marzipan. Uh, the Lübecker is actually raw and the Königsberger has a flamed surface. All marzipan lovers need to go for sure at least once to Niederegger. In the old town you can find Niederegger in three different locations. Uh, there are two stores and two coffee shops as well as one outlet store that is outside of old town also with a coffee shop. The largest one is just right next to the city hall and it contains this store, coffee shop uh, on the first floor and museum on the second. The store downstairs is full of different marzipan specialties. Niederegger has actually 300 different products. They do marzipan bread and also plenty of different pralines and those cakes. Oh my god! In the store downstairs you can get a cake to go uh, but you can also eat it in the coffee shop upstairs on the first floor. They do offer a lot of cream cakes. Obviously not only the traditional German cream cakes but also plenty of cream cakes with marzipan. Such good looking Frankfurter crown cake I haven't seen for a while. If you happen to be in Lübeck during the summertime or where it's warm, you can also enjoy your cake and coffee right opposite the main store in Niederegger Arcaden Cafe, where you can also sit outside. In the museum on the second floor, you can find a brief information about the history of production of marzipan and various historical figures sculptured in marzipan. There is a sculpture of the Holstein Tor of Lübeck, so this is the city gate, and also a sculpture of the table, which is the biggest artwork ever created from marzipan. It took 3500 hours and 500 kilos of marzipan to build it. For a cake, we have decided to go to Niederegger outlet store. The store is not as big as the one that you can find in the old town, but in my opinion it's worth visiting because it's less crowded. And the marzipan products that you can buy there are way cheaper than in the old town. Apart from a raw marzipan, you can get there also the Niederegg marzipan pralines and other chocolate and nougat specialties. You just need to make sure that you eat the product within the next few weeks because of the expiry date, but trust me, that's not a problem. They also sell marzipan from Königsberg, marzipan liqueur, marzipan ice cream and even German Baumkuchen. They also have a lot of varieties of cream cakes that you can choose from. Our attention caught the marzipan Schnitte, Baumkuchen dessert with this marzipan on the top, Nusstorte, so the nut cake with a marzipan layer on the top, and the marzipan potatoes covered with a cocoa powder. With our coffee we have decided to go for a nut cake. So there it is, there is the famous Niederegger nut cake that consists of a layer of shortcut pastry at the bottom, then you've got a very thin layer of a sponge cake, 
and a very thick layer of the cream uh, that is also mixed with a roasted hazelnuts. The layer of cream is actually not as sweet as you might think. The whole thing is covered with a layer of a sweet marzipan and on the top you've got a bit of cream and hazelnut. Overall I found the cake just delicious. If you like cream cakes with a lot of whipped cream this is for sure something for you. For me eating cakes with so much whipped cream is like eating air and therefore I decided to go for another piece of cake that had much more dough the marzipan schnitte. From this what I could taste the marzipan schnitte consisted of plenty layers of sponge cake. Between them you could find either a layer of a marzipan or a layer of jam. I think it was the orange one and as you can see the whole thing was covered with a thick layer of marzipan. And when I'm honest I think I like the marzipan schnitte more than the nut cake. Matthias decided to go for hen torte, which was not as sweet as my choices. The bottom of the Niederegger hen torte, you can find a layer of short crust pastry. Then the cake had three layers of chocolate sponge cake or something very similar. Three layers of jam, a layer of marzipan and then a layer of dark chocolate on the top. Can tarte is usually not as sweet as the standard cream cake and it also contains uh, Himbeergeist which is uh, literally translated uh, raspberry spirit and it, this is a fruit based schnapps that is uh, produced in Germany. As mentioned at the beginning of the video the Königsberger marzipan has a flamed surface and it was created in Königsberg by the Germans who after the second world war were expelled or fled to Germany and continued producing their marzipan here. One of the most typical products from marzipan is the marzipan brot that contains 57% of almonds, sugar, inverted sugar syrup and alcohol. For those of you who don't know, the invert sugar is a mixture of two simple sugars which is glucose and fructose. Marzipan bread is one of the products that has raw marzipan that is made with no sugar. So if you like the taste of marzipan, that would be the one to go for. And by the way, in Niederegger store you can find countless variations of marzipan bread. And another staple from Niederegger is the Niederegger marzipan torte, which is nothing different than a marzipan mixed with sugar, inverted sugar syrup, alcohol, cocoa butter and covered with this beautiful dark chocolate. Marzipan torta has a long shelf life and that makes it a perfect gift from Lübeck. And at this point please let me know in the comments down below how you like your marzipan. Do you like it raw? Do you like it Königsberger art? And I also want to know what do you bake with marzipan? The next marzipan store that you could visit when traveling to Lübeck is this store from the company called Marzipan Speicher. In the marzipan store over there we found plenty of marzipan products. Like in Niederegger store we found there different kind of gems, marzipan brown shrimps as well as marzipan eel, marzipan currywurst and marzipan denture. They had also marzipan Königsberger art, marzipan eggnog and even marzipan tea. Right next to this store you could find a coffee shop uh, that had a wonderful backyard where you could sit outside and enjoy the cake. We have decided to go for the classic Lübecker Marzipan cream cake. The Otello cream cake looked also fantastic but we have decided to go for praline torte and I hope I don't need to explain why, just look at it. The praline torte consisted of short crust pastry that was at the bottom, two layers of chocolate sponge cake, two layers of nougat cream that also had some pieces of nuts, as well as layer of chocolate cream and chocolate on the top. The cake was decorated with some vanilla cream and nuts covered with chocolate. The cream cake had also a pretty orangey taste 
and that's probably because it contained orange zest or liqueur. This cake was for sure the sweetest cake that we have eaten in Lübeck, but nevertheless it was delicious. If you like chocolate, nougat and a bit of orange, you would enjoy it a lot. And finally, now on the screen, you can see the Lübecker Marzipan Torte that contained thin layer of shortcrust pastry, at least three layers of sponge cake, three layers of nut cream that was filled also with nuts. And at the top, you can see a layer of vanilla cream as well as marzipan. The cake was decorated with a vanilla cream and walnut. Comparing to Niederegger nut cream cake, this one uh, was a better one. The proportion of cake and cream was perfect. And if you just had time to eat only one cream cake in the city, that would be my recommendation to you. I also wanted to try Marzipan Königsberger Art from Marzipan Speicher. So we ordered this wonderful Marzipan cake. As you can see, the layer of the Marzipan is flamed uh, from the top and the bottom. And the pastry was filled with a wonderful marzipan and hazelnut cream. Oh my goodness, that was another delicious piece of pastry. We tried marzipan bread also from Marzipan Speicher because we really wanted to compare it to Niederegger marzipan bread. The only difference between those two breads is that the Niederegger actually contains alcohol and this one does not. Still, for me, the product tasted very similar, but it's a shame that at the packaging it doesn't say how many percent of almonds this product has. And the last marzipan store that we have visited, it's called Mest Marzipan Lübeck, and they have one store in the old town and one outside. So we went to this one outside because it was an outlet. They also had plenty of marzipan goodies. But I was very interested in the nougat and raw marzipan and pistachio marzipan. I think from the standard marzipan I'm gonna bake the Frankfurter Beetmännchen. But I don't know what I'm gonna do with this pistachio marzipan. Do you have any ideas? And also in this store they had marzipan Königsberger Art. In all of the marzipan stores you could find a Lübecker speciality which is called Rotspan. Lübecker Rotspan is actually French Bordeaux transported in barrels that ripens in Lübeck. This tradition dates back to the 13th century, although the matter gained in importance in the 16th and 17th century. All the cities in the neighborhood, like Hamburg, Bremen, Rostock, Antwerpen and Münster, have also very similar traditions, which is actually pretty cool. You can try Rotspon in restaurants in Lübeck and you can also get a bottle yourself and drink it at home. If you don't like dry red wine, they also had a half dry version available. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that you like the word of the Lübecker Marzipan and uh, you're gonna put uh, this city on your wish list to visit. I have posted in the past two weeks uh, videos about dishes from Northern Germany and Schleswig-Holstein. For more information about the German cookies, you can watch the video on the left. Next week we are moving to the south, to the Schwarzwald. Please stay safe and healthy and I'll see you on my next one. Bye!